Okay, today we are going to upgrade some pool equipment. Right now this pool's got an old Duraglass motor. Look how they installed this thing. It's like right up against the wall. That's ridiculous. Good luck servicing that motor. We had to cut the pipes. Then we got this foolish contraption here. And an old steel ball valve. Down there. It's just crappy. And then the, the intake or the um, filter and returns look kind of crappy too. With a, It's just an ugly system. So we're going to change out that pump, re do some replumbing, scoot it back a little bit, and put a new filter in. Okay, as far as materials concerned, I got a little pad here, 2x3 pad for the equipment. An inch and a half pipe. Got a new pump. It's a waterway with a 1.25 horsepower Hayo Smith Century motor which is excellent uh, plumbing fittings and glue and valves and 150 for, uh, 150 square foot waterway cartridge filter so the next step is to start chopping out the old equipment okay I got the pump chopped out of there and the filter and got to make sure the breakers off so in the 90s today and this end of the day and I've been out in the heat all day so mine's not working a hundred percent but this is an easy job so hopefully no problems will arise but one thing I notice I'll have to do I'll have to dig here that valves underground I'm gonna chop that out of there put some 45s to move this intake out a little bit because the other one was sitting so close to the wall so I'll dig down and chop those out now Okay, I've cut down and chopped the pipes. Unfortunately, this one got chopped and it's below the water line of the pool. So I had to stick a rag in there with this little improvised steel rod. And what I'll do is I'll glue a coupling right over this rod and uh, attach it down there. I'm only maybe a half an inch under the water line. And that goes to the main drain and I don't feel like trying to plug that up. This is the easier way to do it. And anytime you're dealing with a wet environment, gluing, let me show you. You want to make sure to use rain or, rain or shine, the blue glue. It's a lot better for wet areas, so I'm going to use that down there. Okay, I've cleaned real good around that pipe and got my improvised rod with the rag in it to hold the water down. And the plan is put some glue on this coupling. And then just set it down for that like so and then simply pull the rod up and that will keep us above the water line okay the improvised rod is out we're above the water line got the couplings on and this pipe was an old pipe that wasn't hooked up to the old pump perhaps it's damaged so I'm not going to deal with that thing, but the two intake pipes, main drain skimmer, are ready. I'm going to hit some 45s on them and scoot it back, and we'll go from there. Okay, I just went ahead and leveled the ground and set the pad in place. So now I'll move on with the 45s. Okay, I dropped my 45s in and uh, pushed the intake back some. The next step would be to set the pump here and see how far back I want to bring it, and then start lining things up. So I'll do that now. Okay, this is the waterway pump I was talking about with the A.O. Smith motor. It's really nice setup. It's got a handle. It comes with um, all the unions you need. No rings and stands for adjustable height. I really like this pump, so I'm going to set it up now. Okay, I got the pump assembled. All I really had to do is put on those unions. And it comes with different size stands, so if you're replacing a pump, you can usually line up the height right which is a really nice feature they did a good job with this pump it's a great product but I chose the highest stands because I like to keep the pumps high and dry in case there's heavy rain the water won't come up and start touching the bottom of the motor so this pumps high and dry and these are two inch unions but this product actually comes with reducers in case you have inch and a half plumbing so I'll put those in and this pump will be ready to set in place so we can line things up 
Okay, I got the pump set in place about where I want it. This I got some room right there to work when it's plumbed in. And also, it's important you want to have a good, you know, eight inch run, at least from here to over here where it plumbs into the intake. So I'll take that into consideration and I'll chop those uh, 45s of pipes out of there to the right length to have the pump set right there. Okay, I got the 45s in place and they're set back far enough where I have room. The next step is to add the valves and complete the intake. Okay, the valves are on, so I'll continue up with the intake. When you're plumbing in an intake, the last piece that goes up before you start on the top, you want to make sure it's level. So then you can make the intake and just set it right into place. So I got everything level and it's ready for the top part of the intake. Okay, I got this top piece glued into place and those two pipes coming up are level with each other so all I have to do is set this in place like so and glue it down and then I'll be ready to connect the last part okay the top part of the intake is glued in and all I have left to do is make a cut there and add a 90 and that will complete the intake portion of the pump Okay, I got my last 90 glued in place where the pump can easily slide right back in and be glued. Before I do that, I'm going to hook up the wiring. This is a 220 volt system, so motors come out of the factory set for 220, so I don't have to fool with that. All I got to do is hook up the wires and the pump will be good to go. Okay, the pump is wired up, the ground wires on it. It's glued into place. This pump is ready to go. My next step is to set in the filter. So I'm going to go get that ready now. Okay, here is the waterway filter. It will complement the waterway pump really well. It's a 150 square foot filter. And you'll need 2 inch mill fittings. And I'm also using reducers because this is inch and a half plumbing here. And what you want to put on these mill fittings I use a joint stick with plasters, like a mixture of Teflon and some other goodies to help seal the threads really well. So I'm going to mat that on there really good and screw them in. And that's pretty much all there is to setting up this filter. It comes assembled from the factory. As you can see, I got the stuff matted on there really well. You want to err on the side of caution. Use a lot of it. You do not want to leak these joints, especially after you're done with the job and it's dripping down there. It's uh, pain in the butt so mat it up good and screw them in all the way okay I got the fittings in and the reducers and I'm setting the filter in place and I've checked some clearances to make sure I don't have any problems there but when you plumb a filter in note which one of these says inlet and which one says outlet inlet always goes into the pump outlet always goes to the pool returns so I had that filter set in about like that I'm gonna start plumbing in uh, the inlet side Okay, I got the three-way jandy valve in place for a nice waste port if you want to vacuum out the waste you can turn that valve or put it in filtration mode and All I have to do now is plumb in the rest of that inlet and then work on the return side of the filter and I'll be done Okay, the intake for this pump to the filter is complete everything's plumbed in and level Looks good, time to move to the last part, the return. Okay, I got a valve set in place on the return side. All I have to do is make the two 90s for the top with a T and come down and plumb into the bottom and the return will be complete. Okay, all the risers are set in place for the return. I got the top part of the return done. All that's left to do is set that right on top and the return is complete. Okay, everything is plumbed in and complete. The last thing I did, I added some water to the pump basket. You always want to do that to, with a new pump. Now we're going to fire it up and check for leaks. Make sure everything's working. Pump comes on nice. It's already starting to prime. And I would say that's a beautiful setup, if I must say so myself. It looks like everything's working fine, so I'll just check for leaks, and this project is done. Hope you learned something.